Hey, how's it going everybody? Adrian here from AH Photography and I'm super excited to introduce this large format camera, talk a little bit about it, how it works, and then I'm gonna go shoot it for the very first time, except I'm gonna be using medium format film um, on the large format camera, shooting six by seven centimeters uh, aspect ratio. So without further ado, Let's get right into this awesome camera. Now, right now, it doesn't look like a camera, but very here, or here very shortly, you'll see just how cool it becomes. I'm super excited to introduce this large format camera that I'm gonna be shooting a lot with in 2021, and I've never used a large format camera, film camera before, so I'm excited to start using it. I'm using this special medium format adapter film back that goes uh, connects with a large format camera. So I'm just going to, I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail about this camera, but I'm just gonna touch on it a little bit and just show you what this is, tell you a bit about it and why it's so cool. And then I'm gonna go out and take some landscape shots of the Wasatch Mountains um, using medium format film on this camera. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this is a Toyo Field View camera. It's a um, classic view camera design. They call it a field camera because it folds up really small as you can see so that you can take it out in the field very easily. So the, this is a very unique special camera that is super cool. Um, if you saw my video about my um, tiltable Hasselblad body. This has a similar feature and that's why this camera is popular with landscape photography because as you can see here it has this bellow and it has this back. The film goes in the back here. Let me turn it so you can see. And it tilts back just like this and tilts forward. With this camera, since you can angle the lens from the film in many directions, you can manipulate your focal plane to focus on two focal points. And the idea is that you can focus on a foreground and a background at the, very, at the same time. So yeah, it's pretty cool in that way. Um, the way you focus this camera is by moving the bellow. So let me show you what a lens looks like. This is 150 millimeters, which is a normal view. That means the angle of view with this 150 millimeter lens is the same angle of view as a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame or 35 millimeter camera. So if you have a 50 millimeter lens on a 35 millimeter film or digital camera, you'll have the same uh, angle of view as this 150 millimeter lens on this large format 4x5 camera. I'm excited to start using this camera and put my experience and learn a new skill, learn how to use a new technical tool because I'm really interested in creating large format um, color negative or sorry color positive transparent film and then I want to make some light boxes with that film. So now I'm going to go shoot with this camera and get some practice with it.
Alright, so this is my very first experience using a large format camera and I shot 120 medium format film um, with this camera. I shot 6 centimeters by 7 centimeters aspect ratio using um, Velvia 50 color transparent slide film. So I got some cool sunset shots with this uh, blue sky and sunlit mountain here in the Wasatch in Utah. Um, sunset is directly across from us. We got some shots of the field here. So yeah, it was good practice. I didn't get much bending going on, but I did bend the frame a little bit to get some of the snow in this field and focus while the background, the sun, and the um, sunset was also in focus. So I, it was good just to practice with it. I'm gonna order some four by five sheet film and shoot that as well so I can get some bigger film images on color transparent film. And then I'm gonna make some light boxes and frame the film pictures, three of them with a LED lit uh, box. So it'll be pretty cool, I'm excited about it. All right, so I got uh, my roll back from the lab that I shot um, with my large format view camera using medium format film. And I definitely have um, some things to work out. I had some good practice. This is my very first time using a large format view camera ever. So I had some good practice, Had um, and I'm definitely gonna be using it more. I actually just went and picked up some more uh, Velvia 100 slide film to shoot more with. So I'm gonna practice with it. I'll make more videos using this camera for sure. So I got back my rolls here and a couple things to work out. One being I had one shot here that was underexposed, but the rest looked pretty good. And then the last two shots on the roll are overlapping, which is kind of weird. I don't know why or how that happened. I cranked it. I must have just um, winded and progressed this to the next frame wrong on that uh, medium format back I used. So I just wanna go out and try it and shoot some more with it. And then while I was shooting, or I finished one roll of Velvia 100, color transparent film, but the sunset was so nice that I threw in some um, Portra, or sorry, Ektar 100 color negative film and I, I wound or I loaded the film wrong into the back so I uh, basically wasted half of the roll but I was able to get four shots instead of ten and they look like they turned out really good. In the future I'll make more videos using this uh, 4x5 camera. I'm actually going to get some 4x5 sheet film and start using the 4x5 film but I wanted to use some medium format film to practice using it first so I can get more shots, get more practice. It's a little bit more economical as well. The film is less expensive than four by five sheet film. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. Like a lot of these shots look really cool. And here are the negatives I got at the Harbor, which once I digitize, you can see the colors. So they turned out really sharp, really crisp using some high quality lenses. All right, so it's pretty windy out here, so I apologize for that. Have a composition set up here at the harbor in Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake Harbor. And I think it looks pretty unique because we have all these sailboats in the harbor and then the mountain right behind it. So I'm gonna get a shot um, of that on the Hectar 100. So we should be ready to go. I have my exposure all set. Yeah, it's a little intro to this camera a little bit, um, large format, and an example of shooting medium format film on a large format camera with that adapter I used. So thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. 
um, and comment below your thoughts on large format and medium format if you have any experience using a view camera like this. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.